All right, so we're going to get to the meltdown right now, and uh, it is hilarious to me. And after that, uh, I'm going to get a little more serious because Scott Jennings put CNN on blast, and nobody tried to interrupt him. They had nothing to say because he was dead on right. But let's get to the hilariousness of this meltdown. How did we get here? How did we get here? What in the Alice in Wonderland nightmares is going on right now? All I can say is how f***ing dare you? If you voted for that man, if you voted for anybody other than Kamala and you live and you live in one of the states that it was, you know, close, or if you didn't vote, Senate race. It's not gonna happen. Go, Kevin. I chose family. <laughs> I chose women. I chose America. I love you. How the fuck is this still happening? All I've ever known politically is hatred. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and your mother and your sister. I'm just done with all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry to all my friends who are Trump supporters. You don't understand how scared of this man I am. If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is like scared. Like we're we're scared for our lives. We're scared for our friends. How dare you put this man into office for another four years knowing damn well what it means for our country, what it means for us as a people. To know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country, it's so terrifying. <laughs> it's so terrifying. How the fuck are we back in this same situation again? Who the fuck is voting for him? Genuinely. Fuck you, I don't want to hear about how shitty your life gets under his policies. Live with that decision, sit with it. Let it make you uncomfortable. Fuck you. Uh, so, yeah, okay? The meltdown is real. Now, the only reason that I find it hilarious is that these are all adults. Now see, had they been five or 10 years old or maybe 12 or 13 even, I wouldn't be laughing. Then it would be tragic. But those people are adults, which means they were around during Trump's first term. They were, there were no internment camps. There were no concentration camps. There, <laughs> there, there, there was a booming economy, uh, no new wars, and yeah. <laughs> so I know that these people are transfixed on MSNBC and CNN and the New York Times and the Washington Post, and they are believing it. They believe that at Madison Square Garden, there was a legit Nazi rally. They believe that. That's what they were told. Now, we got to get to this because this tells you exactly what just happened. This is a mandate. He's won the national popular vote uh, for the first time since, for a Republican, for the first time since 2004. Um, this is a big deal. Uh, this isn't backing into the office. This is a mandate to do what you said you were going to do. Get the economy working again for regular working class Americans. Fix immigration. Try to get crime under control. Try to reduce the chaos in the world. This, this is a mandate from the American people to do that. I think, I mean. Um, remember ABC said crime was down? And then we find out later that 6,000 precincts, the biggest cities, weren't reporting it. 
That was all an attempt to get Joe Biden reelected. Interpreting the results tonight as the revenge of just the regular old working class American, the anonymous American who has been crushed, insulted, condescended to. They're not garbage. They're not Nazis. They're just regular people who get up and go to work every day and are trying to make a better life for their kids. And they feel like they have been told to just shut up when they have complained about the things that are hurting them in their own lives. We've been told to shut up. The things that are destroying lives and communities, we are told, shut up. We are your betters. Do what we tell you to do. They're not Nazis. Donald Trump supporters are not Nazis. Donald Trump isn't a fascist. I, I, I just showed you Obama out there talking about the hoax of the fine people hoax. It's like it's been roundly denounced as a hoax. It That didn't happen. But that doesn't matter to Democrats. The only thing that matters is power. I also feel like this election, as we sit here and pour over this tonight, is something of an indictment of the political information complex. I mean, we've been sitting around here for the last couple of weeks, and the story that was portrayed was not true. I mean, we were told Puerto Rico was going to change the election. Liz Cheney, Nikki Haley voters, women lying to their husbands. Before that, it was... Tim Walls in the camo hats. Night after night after night, we were told all these things and gimmicks were going to somehow push Harris over the line. And we were just ignoring the fundamentals. Inflation, people feeling like that they were barely able to tread water at best. That was the fundamentals of the election. And so I think that both parties should always look at the results of an election and figure out what went right and what went wrong. But I think for all of us who cover elections and talk about elections and do this on a day-to-day -day basis, we have to figure out how to understand, talk to, and listen to the half of the country that rose up tonight and said, we've had enough. This is a mandate. Um, what do you think about that? Because he tells you exactly what's happening. It, 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 it did... They want you to believe that what they do is really special. They want to. They want you to believe that what they have to say is uh, God sent. Um, they want you to believe that they are real uh, smart, uh, a lot smarter than you are, and uh, you have to listen to them. Um, and he just told you point blank, no, they're not. They're not smarter than you. They don't know any more than you. They just root for one party. And it's the Democrat Party. Clearly. Look, and I'm going to prove to you, this isn't rocket science. It isn't. Here, look at this. This is Biden's job approval. It tracks all the way from 21, when he got in there, to January 24, he's got a 38% job approval rating. 38. Think about that. And that administration is trying to be reelected. And by the way, it's not just, look, this is this is coming from ABC. A year before the presidential election, three quarters of Americans, 76 percent believe the country is headed in the wrong direction. And the leading Democrat and Republican candidates are viewed broadly unfavorably, according to the ABC News. Only 23 percent of Americans think the country is headed in the right direction. Of course, they had to put the Republican in there. The person that is controlling the direction of the country is Joe Biden. So, so understand what happened. 76% of the American 
believe we're headed in the wrong direction. He has a 38% job approval rating. And by the way, Kamala's is even worse. The only person worse than Joe Biden was Kamala. And they're the incumbent. But they, instead of having a primary and getting a legit candidate, they lied to everyone and told and told you they're gonna we're gonna we're gonna feel some joy and 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 and, and the, the vibes and and we're gonna get Obama and and Beyonce and everybody is gonna feel it and it's gonna be wonderful until it wasn't until she started talking and then everyone knew why she couldn't get a delegate in California dippy hippy California couldn't get a vote. Scott Jennings is right. People are not Nazis. Not fascists. Trump's not a fascist. And people sick and tired of being told just to shut up and take it. Because that's what they were telling us. That's what Obama was telling us. Telling black men, you need to go out there and do what we tell you to do. We don't care what you think. And nobody asked the question. Why did Trump get elected in the first place? 2016, how did he get elected? I mean, Obama must have done a God awful job. I mean, he must have been horrible for everyone to run for the hills when Hillary came down the pike because they knew it would be Obama 2.0 and they weren't going to take four more years of that. So we elected Donald Trump and the country was better for it. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please, baby, baby, please press that follow button and until the next time, God bless.